Hey guys, what's up? I'm out here tonight installing tow mirrors on my 1999 Dodge Ram 1500. So it is a half ton, obviously, it didn't come with these stock. So I'm going from the stock ones right here to towing mirrors, which hopefully will let me be able to actually see my boat when I'm towing. Notice the uh, uh, Ford shirt as I'm working on my Dodge. See, those are supposed to flip up like that and give you supposedly a lot better visibility when you're towing. I can't see my boat at all as it is. So, makes it pretty hard to back up. Anyway. I'm making this video primarily because the one that I found was kind of vague and the instructions, I, I don't even know, like it doesn't, I don't think they're helpful at all. Um, the video I found was like, there were two of them one, and they're both like 15 minutes long and who wants to sit through 15 minutes? How to install mirrors, so I'm going to try to get that done for you guys relatively quickly. I'm not going to be able to actually install one with one hand, but I will show you how to do it. Um, so, mine came with these three bolts that all you do is you screw them in here and here and here. Oops, I crossed that in it. Don't want to do that. I accidentally cross threaded a lug nut and had to replace a wheel stud a couple days ago. That was no fun. But anyway, I'm not going to put them in all the way because that would take too long. What I was doing to do that, get them in all the way, so this is just using this wrench and because they get kind of hard to turn. And I didn't go all the way in, I went in until like about here. And that was as far in as mine would go. It was really marring up the bolt, and I didn't want to do that. Anyway. I have to get those in. The next step is to take this little piece of foam. There's holes punched in it already. It makes it pretty nice. And uh, which way did this go on? I think it was like I think it was like this. Yeah, yeah. So you can see there. There it is. And there's another one for that thing. And um, you also want to thread your wire through that hole. Sorry if I'm pointing the camera away from what I'm doing at all. It's kind of tricky doing this with one hand and concentrating on filming. Gotta, there we go. Okay. So, you want to route. It's very important you don't pinch this wire. It'll pinch right there if you're not careful. As you're, bend, as you're putting it on, it'll, that'll pinch it. So what you want to do is you want to route it up. Oh, what was it? I think it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to route it around this corner. And then slide the foam down. Right there. There you go. You want to line that peg up, and there it is. That's where you want your wire to be. And um, you'll just, you can't see it anymore, but there's a hole where the old wire was poking through. You just pull that out, pop this thing in. You want to push this in so that the door panel is lining up in this groove, and you've got this thing and this thing on the other side of it to make a good seal, keep water out. And then this, of course, you'll just want to plug in here where the old mirror was. You get the old one out, you just push down a little tab on top of this. And of course, I can't do it with one hand, but you just you push down on that tab and then pull on either side of the plug and it'll pop right out. And then, um, after you get this all situated, you're going to want to, I had, um, someone help me hold the outside of the mirror up while I, like, maneuvered it in, and you got to put the mounting plate here and then thread the bolts on, 
So I had some help with that. Hopefully you do. Um, with this, don't mess with that thing. I was ripping into stuff and I like tore it off of here and then just leave it alone. That's where it goes. You'll want to punch a hole through there with like a screwdriver. Oh, where'd it go? Pretty organized here. Sorry about that. Um, oh boy. All right, forget the screwdriver. You just, you're gonna wanna punch a hole through that so that you can thread your wire through there. You can see how I did in this one. So you just wanna punch a hole through this so you can thread your wire through. And then you can kinda see how the plate lines up with the door panel. You'll have someone holding it up here or somehow you'll be holding it and lining the plate up and the holes and threading the bolts on. But you just tighten those with, I believe it was a uh, 10 millimeter ratchet socket. I guess wrench would work too, but you know, that, that's faster. And then what I would do is you'll kind of feel them you tighten like the top one and then the bottom one will be a little looser so you tighten that one I just keep going around the circle until it feels like like 20 foot pounds to me I don't want to strip the threads or anything so I don't go too hard on them and if I would recommend putting like a lock washer on there because I might end up taking it apart and doing that later but who knows maybe it's okay anyway um, oh I forgot an important step you want to take your door panel off of course but to do that uh oh um, to do that all you do there's two Phillips head screws there one Phillips head screw here and that's it. Some people say you have to take the door handle off, but obviously I didn't. You just like, you gotta pop all these pins loose. Um, here's my bag of new ones here. So you just go along with a flat head. Uh, I don't have a screwdriver, so I can't show you, but just like wedge it between the door panel and the plastic panel and pop each one of them out. Um, they're barbed so you can't really u reuse them. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a bag of these from Amazon. Do not, do not buy them from the auto parts store. I was going to buy some from AutoZone. It's literally $3 for four of these little pins. I got a hundred of them from Amazon for eight bucks. Don't buy them at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. It's the same deal at O'Reilly's. In fact, I don't think O'Reilly's even had them. So buy them online. Because you can get them, get a hundred of them for eight bucks instead of two for, th or four for three bucks. So, yeah, that's about it, I think, with the mirrors. Um, when you take the old ones off, there's just those three 10 millimeter bolts you want to unscrew. Make sure you use the nuts that come with the towing mirrors and not the ones from the original mirrors because the ones from the original mirrors, if you're like me going from these to these, are not designed to hold up the weight from these big boys here. So make sure you use the nuts and bolts provided. Also, this from the original mirror does not thread into here, so you, you have to use these. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for installing these mirrors. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on any other work I do on the truck. Pretty soon I'm going to have to replace my U-joints because they're growling at me as I turn. And um, I just rebuilt the transmission. Um, or I, I removed it and then had it rebuilt. But I'll have a video up hopefully soon on how to remove and replace 47RE Dodge transmission hooked up to the 5.9 V8. And um, pretty soon I'm going to be rebuilding my rear drum brakes because they're getting pretty crusty and making a lot of noise. And I'll have a video about that. And 
yeah I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on what i'm doing to this truck thanks for um all the views on the uh door panel video that was pretty sweet so i hope that was helpful for everyone and uh yep yeah, i'll see you guys later thanks for watching